Just making our way up to Gunga Dins, hopefully, which we haven't fished before. Just following an old hippo trail up. A little bit of climbing, so we're out of breath. Just hope we don't meet a hippo coming the other way, which is pretty unlikely in the middle of the day. Right, well, made it to the top. Uh, we've now got to drop back down, back down to water level again. Uh, great view from up here. So just got to fight our way down to Gunga Dins, where we've never caught a fish, but apparently it's good. So we'll see, we'll see. Just, let's have a look at that view again now Steve's gone. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Right, well nearly there. Just last little bit, I'll let Steve go on first, just in case there's any snakes down there and you can find them or frighten them out. Right, well Steve's just heading off for the first cast. I think this is the fourth time I've been in here and uh, neither of us have had a fish. <laughs> so this may be a complete waste of time, but it's one of Paul's favourite places, so you never know. Lots of Texas here, which is very unpleasant. Paul's just up around the corner there. In fact, there, over there, is that cave. Just in there. And then down here is the sill where we fished last week. And then this morning we've just been over here where we had a few fish. Well, we've just come around the corner, there's a lovely cool breeze here, so, and I'm in the shade. So I'll just sit here for a few minutes, I think, watch the working up a sweat. That's uh, Baker's Point opposite, where we had a couple of fish, two of the fish this morning, two of the five. And where Steve had his 90 and I had uh, two 67s. Right, had a little hit just now, and now he's hooked a fish. And it's not looking tiny, because it's going out there. Now Steve does not want it to go out there because that's uh, pretty bad with that flow. At the moment it's staying in the pool, so let's see if it stays that way. Yeah, right, well I just came back to find Steve and he's gone, he's climbed all the way around here. As the fish went around the corner, it's gone way out in the flow now and Steve's just sort of sat there doggo. Uh, fish doesn't seem to want to come in. Um, it's actually right down, right down there. Where's the tree? There's the dead tree. So it's down pretty well opposite the dead tree, but out in the flow. Edge is down there. <laughs> Edge is down there watching what's going on. He's, he's clocked it all. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit treacherous. It's quite a steep cliff here and loose rock, so we're being extremely careful. I don't know if, what the fish is doing, it just seems to be hanging in the current there. It's been on probably about 10 minutes now. Not sure what the time is actually. It's, uh, it's probably been on since about 4 o'clock and it's now just gone 10 past. Steve's just saying you'd think it would kite in. Um, at the moment I can't really follow the line down very well, but it's, it's out there. It's in the dead but, tree pond, it's all on the creek. Yeah, just about the middle of the middle of the river from the angle of the line in that real fast nasty water. Are you actually making any line on it now Steve? Barely. Barely. Looks like it's looks like you are. I mean God knows what we're gonna do with it when we get it in. If we get it in. Oh, it's just powered off again. 
Now, Steve just says maybe it's a croc. I don't think it's a croc. I think it's something substantial, but uh, not croc like. If we can get it into that um, closer water, the chance of getting it in is a lot slacker there, and there's even a back current down here underneath us. Why we came, Andy? That's why we came. Bit of excitement. Risking life and limb to catch a fish. Must be mad. Fish is now right in the middle of the river. This is just ridiculous. And Steve can see the bottom of the spool, so he thinks it's going to spool in any moment. Hi, oh, Etchie. Yeah, don't know what's going on here with this fish. No, I think so. It's got to be big. Really good. I'll bring the boat. I've got time. Can you bring the boat up here? Can you get it? Okay, well done, Etchie. I'll turn my luck. Okay. Really rough. Right, it's now uh, 25 past four. The insanity continues. Fish is still in the middle of the river. Uh, only possible chance of us getting this is if Etchie does manage to get the boat up. And if he gets the boat here, I'm not convinced we're going to be able to get in it, but we'll give it a try. That rod has just been doubled over for so long now. It was out pretty well where it is now, came in a bit, took some more lines, Steve got a bit back, it's gone out even further into the river, and it's stalemate. Right, Steve says it's just sitting on the crease line, so this is where he's perched. It's slowly working away. Madness. Absolute madness. So close to being spooled. Here comes Echi, let's hope he doesn't run over the line. Oh, Steve can see the knot, he's about to get spooled. Andy, you get the button throw this one if you practice. All right, all right. Right, <laughs> jumped into the boat. Uh, could actually see the knot on the spool. And now getting some line back, but God, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh! <laughs> my, uh, my rod's still up there at Gunga Din. I brought my bag, I've got the scales. So we've got what we need. I've got your camera here and your video. What is it? Uh, I can't, can't okay. see it's a croc, I think it's just a big fish, big vundu perhaps. It's not been on the surface, has it? No. So that narrows the chance right, of it being a perch. Yeah, Sorry? We need to go down a bit more. Get some angle on this fish. I don't want him cutting us off around a rock. They're close to the other bank. <laughs> well, at least you're getting line back on the reel. We've got to get the half a spool now. <laughs> Probably find it's a big turtle. Uh, I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, I thought he was just going to sit in the little bay there. How wrong could I be? It still might be a croc, we don't know. If it's a fish, way. it's something special. No, that's it, it's mine. Ah, too far. Look at that rod. Why is it sitting in there? <laughs> oh. See where we hooked it up there, Andy. <laughs> Just below the falls. Cat, I reckon. Still hasn't surfaced. Swimming just in front of the boat now. Not too fast, is she? I think it's a good bit. Mitchy, don't get us broadside. Do us here. There it is. Vundu. Is that a Vundu? It looks like a, a perch to me. It said it was a perch. I saw it. I saw it. Watch the end here. Watch the engine. Right. No, no, you're fine. So it's not a croc, it is a perch. Just a perch. Just, uh, just a perch, yeah. I don't know where we're going to go with it. Oh, it's up again. This fish is like <laughs> Well, it's the best not a perch scrap I've seen in my life. You only need a trunked up pipe one, apparently. Yeah. Jesus. Shame I can't get further away, really, but never mind. Watch out, Etchy. Jay, other way, other way, quick play. Going over the line. Oh. 
Well done, Itchy. It's good. He's under the boat. Itchy. Yes? It's all right. He's yeah, that, that way, Itchy, if you can. Sorry, Itchy. He's, he's right it's under reverse, the boat. Reverse that way, Itchy. I'm on the trace. Get cut off! Turn the boat that way! Quickly, Itchy, quickly! Right round, over there! Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I don't mean it's Brilliant. Hi, folks. It's not always like this. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, that was a bit frantic. <laughs> Fish is still on. I, I suggest 150 pool. Oh, we've got hippos. Sorry. Good drift no. or? Yeah, drifting's good, Itchy. Okay. But we want to we want to try and get on this get the fish landed on the sand over there, Itchy, in the 150 pool. Okay. Why is it so strong? I don't know, mate. I've it's never... not it's not huge. No, it's, it's not ridiculous. It's I mean, it's big. <laughs> it's not ridiculous. It's no more than a tap. You did a great job there, Itchy. Right, well, it's now well, 20 it to five. Yeah, he comes there it is. With a there it is. Yeah, Look at that. Only hooked in the... Well done, Etchy. Take your time, Etchy. Take your time with it, Etchy. Just get the gaff in. Oh. Well, 40 minute fight. Yeah. Couldn't have landed this fish, which is a big fish, without my good mate Andy and Etchy. <sighs> That's me done for this trip. What a fish. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, Ishi. Great bit of work, lad. Well, we've got this big fish and everybody's come to see. We've got people everywhere. You'd think we were a very rare white leopard or something. Whew. Right, well, just weighed it, 108. Fantastic fish. Got a uh, fair audience. <laughs> just come to see the fish as well, because people don't often see something like this. Remember to smile, yeah? You're not taking the picture. Can you take that picture first? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. You want to make a photo? Straighten the tail out, Etchy. There we are. We all in? You're all in. It's excellent. A beauty. Well done, Steve. Nice work, thank you. A beauty. I couldn't have caught this without my friends here though. Yeah. yeah. Big mama. What about the, the hook? How are you gonna get it out? Thank no, you. I removed it. Got the lure. Oh, okay. Easy. Yeah. Good, right. <laughs> <laughs>